Hey, what is up, my boys? It's your man, the myth, the legend, CGOD. And we're back at you one more time. And this time, we're going to be buttoning up a couple of things on the old shadow. Um, I know you guys probably just watched the Road King video. This one should be coming out right after that. But um, it's another cold morning here in lovely Garden City, Kansas. And as per usual, we're on my back patio. So we're gonna get cracking. So first things first, I did get the white wall tires put on. So here they are. Brand spanking new Shinkos. So I mean, they look real fucking flossy. I love it. As you can see, still got the tire stickers on them and everything. They feel focus. Oh, there we go. So it's 150, 90, 15 on the front, or on the rear actually. And then we got a 190 for the 19 inch front. And I also took the liberty of painting up the drum brake for the rear. Um, it's kind of hard to see. Hopefully I'll be able to capture it, but it is the same black paint with the rainbow flake as the rest of the bike. So, I mean, she's real dirty. You can't even see it on this one either. It just looks regular, but this is what we used boys. So, I mean, it's literally just Krylon paint primer black and dupe color clear effects. And um, should look wicked here. I'll be able to show you what it looks like on the helmet. Yeah, so, I mean, as you could see, looks wicked. But um, either way, moving on, we're going to go ahead and put these bad girls on as well as that brake rotor thingy or brake drum, I guess. And after we get that put on, then we're going to go ahead and finalize our fishtails. Over here, I have the bits for that. So, I mean, as you can see, I, we made up this little bracket. I was making these in the Road King video, actually. But these also have that rainbow effect on them. And then this is the other piece that's just going to be connecting the pipes. But, yeah. So, I'll go ahead and show you guys. See, it's kind of hard to see, but... She's got that rainbow effect on it, you know? Oof. Either way. So, yeah, guys, like I said, I'm going to put these wheels back on real quick. Shouldn't take me very long at all. And then after that, I'll go ahead and bring you guys back and show you how we're going to go ahead and brace these pipes. And once the pipes are braced, the only other thing that I'm going to do to this bike is I've got a full OEM Honda oil change kit. So I'm going to change the oil for the new owner. And like I said, she's going to go up for sale, boys. So, I mean, without further ado, let me get on that. Just for your own enjoyment. Here's the old Road King. Very sick. But yeah, stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I see the Fossil. We got the tires on. It's real easy. And it also gave me a chance to, like, tighten up the chain just a tad bit. Um, other than that, I did finalize all of that stuff. I also put on the exhaust brace bracket mount whatever you want to call it so this is what it looks like my bad about that there it is so this is how the exhaust bracket is gonna sit so I mean as you could see like I said it just bolts up to that axle nut portion of it and then that'll get welded to the back side of the pipe there like that so that'll brace that and then I've got this John also, see if I can get it like in the sun for you guys, but either way, they both, they all got that black with the metallic rainbow flake and stuff. You'll be able to see it in the sun, it's just right now the weather's ass. Either way, so this piece is going to mount in between there, behind the pipes like that, right above the other bracket. So, I mean, you'll kind of be able to see it, but I'm hoping it covers up that ugly looking nut back there. That's part of the brake assembly. So, it should work pretty nice. And then they'll be nice and braced. Um, and then, obviously, we're, we're going to clean old girl up because she is super duper dirty due to all this rain and stuff back here. But, I mean, she looks wicked on the fucking white walls, boys. That thing is beautiful. Almost don't even want to sell it. Almost. Either way. So yeah, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and weld on these little brackets, and then we're going to continue on to the oil change. And then after that, she'll just be getting cleaned up, and then probably like a photo shoot later today if we get some sun or something like that. 
And like I said, she'll be for sale, boys. So, I mean, if you guys are interested, let me know. Um, honestly, after putting the white walls on and all this good stuff, I'm probably going to price it around $4,000. You know, shooting for like thirty five dollars or whatever. Either way, it, it's an 03 Shadow 750 Spirit. Ton of mods, as you can tell. And she had 10,000 miles on the gauge cluster before I removed it. And I still have the gauge cluster. I got the original shocks in the back. Over there in my scrap pile, I have the original seat, both original fenders. I mean, I got all the stuff still. I have the old tips too, the old exhaust tips if you guys would want that. I did, however, sell the bars and the old risers and stuff. So, I mean, you guys are stuck with these bad Johnny wishbones. Or I think they're called dog bones, actually, yeah. Either way, that's that. Um, I did paint the headlight bucket also with the rainbow flake. Looks a lot better when it's clean and in the sun. But, yeah, boys. Get at me. I'm going to go ahead and put these Johns on, and I'll bring y'all right back. Alrighty, brothers and sisters, boys and girls. We got it all done. She's badder than all fuck. Like, I don't know if you can tell by my facial expressions but damn but before that we have here before us three quarts of oil for old girl direct from honda as well as an oem filter so i mean only the best you know unfortunately i'm gonna be selling it but either way so without further ado check this shit out damn Pipes are braced, white walls on and clean. I took the liberty and cleaned the whole bike. I figured I might as well try the sissy bar again and see how it made me feel. And my God, this thing is beautiful. Like I can't even hold back my excitement. It's just so bad, man. Like, damn. Like, I don't know if you guys know, but it's fucking bad. Like, it, it's just so bad. Like, you can't even mess with it. Like, I'm trying to show you guys this thing, you know. But, oh, fuck. I just dropped a burner through my disco, boys. But either way, I mean, I took, I went ahead and cleaned it up a little bit, you know, shined it up or whatever. The paint's nice and clean. You might be able to see a little sparkle now, but not too much. You'll probably be able to see it. I, I did this brake drum thingy. And um, you can kind of see maybe. But either way, the whole bike is outfitted with this custom paint bullshit. I got the pipes nice and secured with these brackets. So, I mean, you could see how they line up from the side. Like, it's the tiniest bit noticeable. If you look at it from this angle, it does clear that little nut in the back. But, I mean, other than that, boys, man, she looks wicked. Like, look at how it looks with that sissy bar. Um, I do got chrome twisted sissy. I got chrome and twisted lowrider mirror. And obviously the bars are chrome and twisted. Um, I went ahead and I tightened up my little uh, dog bones and stuff like that. Because I was trying to do a burnout the other day. Like a rolling one. And the bars kind of came forward a little bit and scared me. Either way. Like I said boys. Damn. Damn. Oh. But yeah. So pretty much if you look underneath the bike. You'll see our filter down here. So I'm going to pull that and uh go ahead and change the oil but i feel like the video is running on so just know that we're using this honda oem stuff and just know that this is your boy c god and also just know that i'm checking out and just also so you know make sure to like comment subscribe and stay tuned because we got a lot more some gangster shit like this coming up on the channel boys deuces